Okay, so it's my second beer today, but I'm going to post this on a different day, just because I don't want, you know, like five po beer posts in the same day. Uh, today we're going to review or talk about Sam Smith's Organic Handcraft Fruit Ale, which is a strawberry. And uh, it was six, five sixty-five. Nothing special about the cat. So, uh, we'll get right into the pour so I can let it settle and then I'll read the bottle. Oh, <laughs> Man, that is the strongest strawberry smelling beer I've ever had. And I've had all the strawberry beers. You can smell the strawberry already. And it's not even, there's no question, it's not like there's a fruity smell. No, that's a strawberry smell. Alright, so on the top it says organic. On the bottom it says brewed at Melbourne Brothers Ancient Brewery in Stanford, Lincolnshire, and blended and bottled at Samuel Smith's Brewery, Lancaster, North Yorkshire. Product of England. Handcrafted at Melbourne Brothers Tiny Brewery set in a time warp at Stanford using the old manually operated brewing equipment, finest organically grown barley and wheat, and used to create a complex ale, which having undergone primary and secondary fermentation with different yeasts and extended maturation. Maturation. It's taken to Samuel Smith's small independent br British brewery at Tadcaster. There it is, blended with pure organic f strawberry fruit juice at, with previously cellared organic brew, created an unparalleled fruit ale. The smooth, distinctive character of the matured ale serves as the perfect counterpoint to the pure organic fruit juice. Um, that's not easy to do after you had a couple beers, but uh, I don't see uh, ABV. Uh, I guess I'll have to add that in. Um, but it is USDA organic, which I still, as I mentioned before, I never understood because hops, barley, it's organic. But uh, I think it's just that they don't use pesticides. Do I need to say I smell strawberries? <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a strawberry beer, no doubt about that. I don't like that it smells like rotten strawberries, but I guess that's the only way to get fermented strawberries. So, but it's still good. It's still a good strawberry smell. Alright. Dig right in. Alright. I could put this very simply. If you had apple juice and you had apple cider, you know the difference if you've had them both. Just picture having a, uh, strawberry juice. This is strawberry cider. Um, and it's pretty damn good. Uh, like I said, I've had all the strawberry beers because I am a fan of strawberries. My favorite fruit. And, uh, this does not disappoint. This is running neck and neck. I've had one other strawberry beer that was very good. A strawberry blonde from uh, John Harvard's, which, as far as I know, doesn't exist anymore. So, this is as good a strawberry beer as you could get, as far as I know. And, uh... is good. Um, there's nothing else I could tell you from the bottle. I'm going to have to look it up online so I could uh, fill in all the uh, ABVs and anything else that I might need to tell you. If you could get this, buy it. If you like fruit beers, definitely buy it. Um, Out of five stars, I give this four and a quarter. To be honest, if this was a very high alcohol, I might even give it a four and a half. 
because if that was the case, they'd be masking the flavor very good, the uh, flavor of the uh, alcohol very good. But taste alone, four and a quarter. And if you like fruit beers, buy this. Really, does Samuel Smith make any bad beers? And this was five sixty-five, I think. I got the, I peeled the price off. I think it was about five dollars, five and a half dollars for. Uh, I know it says oh. One point and two point seven fluid ounces. So that's like 17, 18 ounces. It's like a, a a can and a half or a bottle and a half. Very good.